might seem a little laggy, but it's not. It's just because my screen recording. But I have Windows Dock down here, which is pretty cool. You can simply just apply this down here like that. Um, and I have a little Apple logo right here. So I'm going to be showing you how to do everything. And I'm going to put the link in the description to everything you need to make this as easy as possible for you guys. So first thing you need to do is you need to get uh, the dock. Get the dock. You want to click on the link in the description. It's called Rocket Dock. After you click on, once you click on the link in the description, it's going to take you to this page right here. Click on Download, and you want to click on Download Rocket Dock. What you want to do is you want to install that, and it's going to go through a simple run through or whatever. And uh, you're going to be able to. Uh, you're going to get like a little dock down here. Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to click on dock settings. I'm going to help you set everything up so it looks like a Mac because right now it's not going to look like a Mac for you. It's going to be a little different because as you can see my theme is Mac OS X Leopard for the uh, Rocket Dock theme. What you want to do is you want to click on position and uh, you're going to click for layer and you want to click normal. Which I do because if you click if you click always on top, always on bottom, it's going to be like either always you know above when you're like Let's say I go into Google Chrome, it's going to always be up here. You don't want that. You want to be able to, like, because it's going to get annoying. Unless you do want that, it's up to you. Um, but, yeah. So, that's what you want to do. So then you want to go to Style, and uh, you can click whichever one you like. Maybe you like a different type of, you know, it's, it's just the, the theme of the dock. But I have Mac OS X Leopard. I'm going to show you how to get that now. What you want to do is you want to go to Google. I open all the tabs up that I got to open that tab up. So you want to click on Rocket. You want to type in Rocket Dock Mac OS X Leopard and click Enter. I'll put the link in the description for this. It's going to be on rocketdoc.com, and this is this is it right here. So uh, just click on the link in the description. Remember, everything is going to be down there. I'll label everything. So once you click on the link in the description, it's going to take you to this page right here. You just want to scroll down. Sorry, it's a laggy. And you want to click download file. After you click download file, you're going to want to install it, and you're going to go to uh, this icon right here where it says dock settings. You're going to click on style. You're going to click on this and you're going to go find Mac OS X Leopard and click OK and it's going to change to that. Alright and that's how you get the dock. Next thing I'm going to show you how to get is this up here, how to change this to Windows Blinds. Some of you might already have the bar up here, like uh, like up here some of you have this little bar down here so what happened down here. I'm going to show you how to get it up here real quick. What you want to do is you want to actually go to uh, Control Panel. You want to scroll down, click on Taskbar and Start Menu, and you want to click on uh, Start Menu, and you want to click Taskbar Location. If you click on Bottom, that's where it usually is. You want to set this right here to Top, and it'll be on the top. You can click OK. All right. After you do that, you want to get Windows Blinds, which I'm going to show you how to get right now. I'll put the link in the description for that, and it's going to take you to this this right here. Uh, what you want to do is you, you can either buy it if you want, which is like if you want to buy it, it's up to you. But I just clicked on download free trial because uh, it gives you a 30 day trial. And if it doesn't, like if you don't, if it, the, when, when, well, when the trial runs out, you can simply just download it and install it again. So that's, that's what I would do. So you just click on download, install that. Uh, it's going to give you an icon that looks like this. Once it opens up, you're going to want to. You can click on get more skins or something, and uh, you can you can look through the skins if you want, find whatever you want. Remember, you can completely customize this yourself. But I'm showing you how to get what I have. So uh, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to the link in the description once again, and it's gonna take you to this page. You're gonna want to click on download file, and you're gonna need WinRAR for this. If you don't have WinRAR, uh, remember I'll I'll put a link in the description for WinRAR. And it'll take you to this page right here, and it's just going to automatically download, and you're going to want to install WinRAR. 
Hits remember I have a link in the description for everything you need. So like the video if you like me doing that, and like the video if you want me to keep doing that in all my videos, having all the links for everything. But um, after you download that, you're gonna want to click on it. You're gonna want to let it open up, and you're gonna see this. You're gonna want to double click, and uh, for this. This is the snow leopard picture, which is the background like I have, I believe it is, should be. Oh, nope, that's not it, whoops. It's not going to be that one, guys, it's going to be, there we go, wallpaper, click on wallpaper, and then click on, double click that, snow leopard, and uh, you're going to come up with this picture or whatever, it's not going to take me there we go. You're going to come up with this picture, that's the background. To set that, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna bring this to your desktop, and if you don't like that, it also comes with the default Mac picture, which is this purple thing, which is all right if you want that. But I like the Snow Leopard one. You're gonna want to put that to your desktop. All right. You're gonna want to go to Windows Blind Scan. You're gonna want to double click on this, and it's gonna install it to Windows Blind on the Mac. You just double click it, and it's gonna install it to Windows Blind. All right. I already have it installed, so once it's installed to Windows Blinds, you're going to open Windows Blinds back up, you're going to type in Mac, and you're going to see Snow Leopard, you're going to want to click on it, you're going to want to double click on it actually, and it's going to just, it's going to pretty much set it up, and you're going to have this. Now for your background, you're going to take this right here, your picture that you put on your desktop, you want to right click, you want to click set as desktop background, and it's just going to automatically set to your desktop background. So that's how you do it guys, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, uh, that's pretty much it, if you need anything else, comment or inbox me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, that's how you make your windows look like a Mac, uh, on Mac OS X Snow Leopard, so don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like this video if you like me putting everything in the description, and uh, yeah, so don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, and share this video with anybody else or any of your other friends who need help.